Seems gas prices are higher every time we go to fill up, but while we're losing money, oil companies are making it. Look at these record first quarter profits. Shell up more than $5 billion from a year ago. BP up close to $4 billion. Chevron up nearly $5 billion. With gas prices at these record highs, some argue the government needs to step in and do something to roll back prices. But money editor John Delano reports state law doesn't give many options to elected officials or to consumers. With oil companies posting record first quarter profits, $6 billion for BP and Chevron, $8.8 billion for ExxonMobil, and $9 billion for Shell, a lot of folks suspect price gouging at the gas pump. But doing something about it seems tougher than ever. Unlike other states, the Attorney General does not have standalone authority to investigate and prosecute price gouging. State Senator Marty Flynn wants to change that. Only during a, um, a state of emergency, uh, a disaster declaration, does, does the Attorney General have the power to, to investigate uh, price gouging. So that's something I'm looking to, to alter and change uh, so that the Attorney General can, can, can go in on certain industries that, that really want to stick it to the consumer. Representative Nick Pisotano agrees. His bill would give the AG power to go after price gougers. It's very possible that if legislation like mine became law, that gas prices would stop increasing or go back down because these people who are artificially driving up the prices would face prosecution. Attorney General Josh Shapiro told me last March that during the pandemic, when the governor declared an emergency, he was able to use that power to act. My office was able to engage in thousands of investigations into price gouging, whether it was for Purell or masks or other things that were associated with really significant price spikes at the time. And we held a lot of businesses and companies accountable. The problem is today we can't do that. One thing could change that. Is it time for Governor Wolf to declare an emergency with respect to gasoline pricing in Pennsylvania? Oh, without a doubt. I think without a doubt. I reached out to the governor's office to see if he was planning to do that, which would allow the AG to go after gasoline price gouging in this state. But the response, quote, not at this time. Governor Wolf instead wants to eliminate the 58 cent gasoline tax and use surplus COVID dollars to give lower income Pennsylvanians a $2,000 check both of which require approval by the Republican-controlled legislature. That seems very unlikely. John Delano, KDKA News.